women say they already knew that drugs aren't the answer. Although they agree there is a problem, it's not with them. Is there something to fix? <laughs> no, not at all. No, What's the problem? The, the men. The FDA advisory panel voted 10 to 1 that phlebanserin was not significantly better than a placebo and unanimously that the benefits did not outweigh side effects like dizziness, nausea and fatigue. I'm not convinced of a clinically meaningful benefit of phlebanserin. But many experts question whether any pill designed to treat a woman's lack of sexual desire is a medical necessity or simply a marketing scheme. Women don't need treatments with real side effects for imaginary diseases invented by marketers. Even before the vote today, the maker of phlebanserin has started a web promotion and caught heat for it. It is a thinly veiled, profit-driven marketing campaign filled with bias, misleading, unsubstantiated information and celebrity endorsement. With almost $2 billion a year in sales, male sexual dysfunction drugs are big business, so the drug companies are eager to please women, too. Viagra and drugs like it fix the physical problem of blood flow. But phlebanserin is an antidepressant that treats vague symptoms by targeting the brain. I think it's a scam. But one woman who said she benefited from the drug and wanted to remain anonymous told CBS News medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton that struggles with desire are very real. Did you ever think there was something wrong with you? Oh, yeah. All the time. Drug companies have tried more than two dozen times to come up with a treatment to reawaken a woman's sex life. But the idea of popping a pill for many women just isn't that sexy. Feel the vibe. Do something <laughs> natural. Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York.